This is a quick video of Summerhill Village, what's left. I marked A, B, and C, or excuse me, A, B, and C of the curb repairs that were originally on the uh, aerial map at the funnel docket. So I marked it again. But this time I put eight foot and then there's a six foot added piece that's on here as well that we broke out. B, um, it's just a curb on the end of the planter there. This added 28 feet. I don't know why the guys did it, but maybe they're maybe the backhoe hit it, or uh, I'm sorry, the excavator. But they ripped out the entire island there, so that's added 28 feet. You got this little one foot piece, which I think grew to about two feet. Then there was an added 18 foot piece that they had broken out when they were removing the sidewalk behind it. And then this one right here, this 10 foot piece, I think really it's a workmanship issue. This is an added 10 feet. If you come in from the main entrance and take a right and you get out here in front of this first building at 23751, we poured the new sidewalk in here. But as you can see, they left the form boards in there. Um, I don't know if they did not remove the tree root. It looks like they removed the tree root out of here and re-poured this, but uh, maybe they just couldn't figure out the elevation to get it to come down, and so they had to raise it up to here. So now I've got this 10-foot piece of curb that needs to be removed and replaced in order to get it to transition. So they're gonna have to kind of hand build this curb here in the corner and then get these boards out of here. You can see it, it's like buried in the corner here and it's there. There's no way that's just coming out without removing this curb. And then they left all this stuff here. So they need to get rid of that. They need to fix the curb there. So that's the That's the only thing that was really weird out of what needs to be finished is adding that 10 foot piece of curb because that's a big drop right there and then get rid of the junk.